All right, so they want us to write some equations on this stuff. <clears throat> and uh, they're just going to say, here are your two answers. X is A and B. Of course, those will be values, right? So let's, let's just pretend that these were values. Let's say that A, in this case, is 5. And then B can be a negative 18. It really doesn't matter, right? So if I want to write the equation for these, I would have x minus whatever the x is, 5. <clears throat> and then in the other equation, I've got x minus what would be a negative 18. But since I'm subtracting a negative, I just would make that a plus formally. And this is equal to 0. Um, but this is simplified. So at this point, you would use FOIL to find your actual quadratic for this. And that's what they're really looking for. So here are the two solutions. So we can write the two binomials that are being multiplied by each other. And that would be kind of like it's been factored out. We'll use FOIL then to make it a quadratic equation. So I'm going to set these up. First, I've got the x minus, and then I've got the other well, x minus, this all is going to equal 0, and it will end up equaling 0 as well. But from these, I'm going to just replace them with the two values it gave us, 6 and 4 fifths. Okay, you guys remember this. If you got to this point, you would solve for 0, I'm sorry, you solve for x by making both of those equal to 0. That's where these two solutions came from. All right, so now we're just working backwards because we have the solutions. So from here, we're going to use the uh, FOIL method, or I'm just really using distribution. So I've got x times x, and then I'm subtracting x times 4 fifths. And then I will distribute this negative 6, so minus 6 times x, and then that's going to make that a plus 6 times 4 fifths. <clears throat> Again, not everyone needs all of these steps, but whatever. <clears throat> so x times x is x squared. That's great. There's not any other x squareds to combine these with. But uh, I do have a negative 4 fifths x minus 6 x. So what I'm going to do is that would be 6 over 1. I'm combining two, two values, but one of them is a fraction. So I need both to be fractions with the same denominators. So I'm going to make this 30 fifths that's what 6 is, 30 divided by 5. So I've got a negative 4 fifths x minus 30 fifths. Oh, I forgot my x. There's my x. And then I'm going to add this to 6 times 4 fifths. I can make this fraction multiplication like this, which gives me 24 fifths. And it's okay to keep it like that. If you want to make it a mixed number, that's okay. It's just a little extra work, and you may unfortunately get it wrong there. So... I've got x squared. Now I've got a four fifths, a negative four fifths minus thirty fifths. That give me a negative thirty four fifths x's, and then plus twenty four fifths. And of course, this all was equal to zero, going way back to the beginning. That's as far as we can go on this thing. We don't need common denominators everywhere. Um, we have a coefficient of x squared that's 1. That's okay. It's not a big deal. So we're done.